Welcome to What the World Needs is Jesus broadcast. Got a couple announcements for you today. One coming from us here at What the World Needs is Jesus. We will be at the Wills Creek Assisted Living that will be today, May the 6th at 5.30 p.m. with an outdoor singing event. Everyone is invited and welcome to attend. We ask if you would, please set, bring you a lounge chair. Also for the Wills Creek Assisted Living in Fort Payne, Alabama, we will be there every Wednesday evening at 1.30 p.m. We will be singing and someone will be bringing the word. Everyone's invited to come out and attend. The address there is 1050 Airport Road, West, Fort Payne, Alabama, 35968. You may come to be a blessing, but I assure you, you will leave with a blessing. We ask if you would say a prayer for the residents there at the assisted living. If you need more information, you can contact Brother Ricky Phillips at 256-630-1262. Another announcement for you today is coming from the Upper Room Temple. They will be having their women's conference today, Saturday, May the 6th at 11 a.m. It will be held at Clear Vision Church of God, Highway 9 in Cedar Bluff, Alabama. If you need more information, you can contact Sister Krista Bates at 256 643-5896. Another announcement for you today is coming from Pentecostal Power Ministries. They will be having their women's conference titled Rise Up Saturday, May the 27th at 1 p.m. All ladies are welcome to attend. The address there is 85 Larry Dam Road in Larry, Georgia. If you need more information, you can contact Sister Debbie Collins at 256-996-2099. Now today's message is coming from Brother Harold O'Neill. The title of his message is, What You Can Do. He will be preaching out of Isaiah 55, verse 6. Then we're going to have a song from Brother Junior and his wife Donna Dalton singing, But for the Blood. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Click the bell to turn your notifications on YouTube. Follow, like, and share us on Facebook, and check us out on Instagram for some inspirational posts. Now let this video be a blessing. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name's Harold O'Neill, and I'm with the ministry of what the world needs is Jesus, and I'm just one of many. Uh, we are trying to just share the gospel with you, and today I want to say this. God loves you. He loves the lost. Now, he loves the saved. He loves you. Every human being he loves. And uh, the Bible says he has no pleasure in the death of the wicked. So God is not... Uh, now, the enemy, and the only way we're going to know about God is to know this word right here. You, you might can get people's opinions, but God's word is right here, and he signed it in blue. And yeah. Yeah. If God said it, you can believe it. But uh, I just want you to know today, if you are not saved, I don't care who you are, where you at, or what position you hold, or how much money you're going to, if you are not been washed in the blood of Jesus, and a child of God, and turned your life to Him, and are making an effort to follow Him, then your future looks bad. Yeah, come on. The world don't want to hear it. They don't want to admit it, but it's there. And what I'm telling you, all the unbelief in the world, and all that were spoken against Jesus, didn't stop Him from being who He is. That's right. And it will not stop Him from doing what he said he'll do in the last days. There's nothing. What will only power to stop anything is us not receiving. And uh, for God knows the reason, I won't, I, I'm going to get this real specific. Uh, there is a song, and Miss Debbie Collins sings that, and if any time you get an opportunity to hear her sing this song, they said, God will make a way. Yes, oh, glory. Yes. Hallelujah. God yes. will make a yes. way. I'm telling you today, yes, God will make a way. 
He'll make a way wherever you're at and whatever you're doing. God will, hallelujah, God will make a way. That's the truth. And brothers and sisters that, that are, are children of God, God will make a way for anything that troubles you. He'll make a way. How do you know, brother? Because he's making a way for me Amen. with the things that I'm facing right now. He's making a way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He'll make a way. Hallelujah. Ooh, I can't get away from that. He'll make a way. Yes, he will. God will make a way. And if you ever get an opportunity on anything you're watching to see and listen to her saying that, whew, do it. You'll be glad you did. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And the last week I talked about, the last time you see me on, about what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. We want to try to talk this week about what can you do. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't fly, and I have trouble walking now, but I can put effort into it and walk with the king. Yeah. There's some things we can't do. But there's some things we can. We can always call on the Lord Jesus oh, Christ the Lord. and receive in the Him. And no matter how deep in sin you are, and I was out there. I was out there, and I won't tell about that. To the point I've been in prison before. But God, even then, made a way. Yes. Because He was going to give me another change. And thank Him, thank Him so much that I was finally received Him. I listened to Him. And I'd say, well, I kind of, I guess, at peace with God, but I hadn't repented and accepted him in my life and his way of living, see, and his personality in us. That's where I've come up short, but thank God now. And I don't regret a day since I've been saved, but God will make a way. Amen. Amen. Ain't that the That's truth? Right. Man, yeah. I've been flat on my back, and they said, you probably ain't going to walk no more, but God made a way. Oh, yeah. Yes. What is that way? It's him. Yes. Amen. Yes. He'll, and when we don't see things, he'll give us sight. Mm -hmm. Now, I can't, I can't really explain how I used to do all them things I did, and all of a sudden, he made a way that I didn't want him no more. Right. God can make a way, folks, no matter what trouble you got. And listen, I want to talk to somebody now that's got, uh, uh, you've got some children, and uh, listen, God said, tell you, somebody, somebody will know this thought. He said, they ain't no words where I can't see them. He said, their future lays in my power. Praise the Lord. Yes. Not in, yes. Satan, he said, Satan can't just destroy them at will. He said, their future is in my hands. I have the authority. He said, and they can't get no words where I can't see them. I did. Somebody just needed to hear that today. And I've been through such things. All right, what can we do? I can't do a lot of things. I can't. But there is some things I can do with the, with the gift and the presence of the Lord that brings things into our life. You know, we just think we know how things work. We don't, we don't, we don't know everything. No, no. I want to read you a scripture. What can we do? Listen, the gospel is being preached, y'all. It's getting bad in this world, and I believe the judgment hand of God is right on this thing. You see, well, if the judgment hand of God on there, he would destroy it. No. Right. See, a judgment, there can be a judgment that turns out in your favor. Yeah. A lot of Christians say, well, if we save and going on all right, why are we going to be judged? You can be judged righteous. Right. Here? Right. Have you not never went to court before and had something going there and the judgment turned out in your favor? Yep. Yeah. Judgment hand of God is against evil. The Bible said, where I, I like to say that, where for God so loved the world he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth should not perish but have everlasting life. Now listen to this. He said, he that believeth is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned. If you're out there today and you're not saved, you're walking in condemnation. What will happen at the end of your life, that's exactly what will happen. You'll end up in that place where people say it ain't there. But I guarantee you one thing, everybody that's in what we call hell, 
they know they're there. And they know they're there because they rejected Jesus. And everybody that's in heaven knows they're there too. Yeah. See, what I'm saying, don't listen to all of this. Listen to the Bible. Yeah. Don't listen to all that man-made thing, but listen to the Word of God that will be confirmed by the Spirit of God yeah. to your life. And you ain't so deep you can't get out of it unless you have resisted for the last time. Yes, that can help. What can I do? In the book of Isaiah, it says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Folks, the Spirit of God is still in this world, working with the church. A lot of people don't like the church, and they say all kinds of bad things. They say, well, the church is that, you know. The church is made up of imperfect people. I had to learn that when I got saved. They're imperfect. I'm not perfect. But the God that will save you is perfect. Yeah. He'll make a way for everything you come up against. He will. He'll make a way. What can we do? We can call upon them. See, people are still getting saved. The gospel is still being preached. Even though there's a more against right now, I guess, than there has been in the, this generation. But the gospel still being preached. It's still there. The Spirit still draws and the church is still on and we still on the internet preaching. He's still near. As long as that word's preached, he's near. And he will hear you. Right there it says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Mm -hmm. Call ye upon him while he is near. You can do that. Yeah. I did. You yeah. can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was head over heel in sin. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank God one day. He personally came to me. Now listen, folks. Mm -hmm. Every individual one day he is personally going to come to you. Mm -hmm. What you going to do? Right. Now you go back to that. Well, here's what you can do. You can say, God, help me to know the truth. Help me to know you. And, and what that means is, I, I made a statement one time that Jesus didn't die, that we could go to church three times a week. Well, some people chose to misunderstand that and get mad at me. They did. Oh, boy, you better believe they did. But Jesus died that we individual. Jesus died that I could have a relationship with God yeah, yeah. by the Holy Ghost and I can talk to God. Praise the Lord. I can call him Father. I can say, help me, Lord. Yeah. And do you know what? He lets me know what to do. Sometimes he'll lead me in the Word say, read that. Yeah. And that tells me what to do. And sometimes people say, "You God don't... I hear the man one time say that if you, if you want to uh, hear the word of God, read it. Then he said, if you won't hear it out loud, he said, read it loud. I, I, I hate to disappoint you, sir, but you don't know what you're missing. That's right. Amen. Oh, yes. He will. He will. But that's what we can do. You can call upon the Lord. You hear the church, and no doubt people witness to you, and you see it on the Internet. You see preaching. But you can say one day, you can say, Lord, I, I saw a thing on the internet here just a while back where this guy was head of a satanic church. Mm -hmm. And he come to a point and he said, Jesus, if you're real, and this guy was of the satanic church. Mm -hmm. Show me. And then the man went to crying. He said, Jesus showed him. Yeah. And on top of that, he forgave him. Because that man seen the truth. He forgive him. And don't think that man don't get on TV and talk about it right now. I mean on the internet. The gospel's still being preached. Churches are still running. And if the problems are, sure they are. Everybody ain't perfect. And some people that goes along ain't really sincere. They ain't. They really ain't. But you let the Lord handle that right there. 
I've had people come to me before and say, you got to help me get my life straightened out. And I said, I ain't no straightener outer. I have to call on Jesus. Amen. Yes. I do. Right. What we're telling you that you can do, we're doing right now. Yeah. The gospel is still being preached. The spirit is still drawing. Yeah. And God is still reaching into people's lives and giving them the power to change. That's still going on. So therefore, here's what you can do. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. You can do that right now. But when that day comes and God does what, what he says he's going to do, uh-huh. it'll be too late. Yeah. Or you as an individual can resist for the last time. Now God, God, God won't worry you to death, but he'll sure call you. And then one day he says, okay, that's what you want. That's right what I'm telling you, listen. That's true. Yes. Call you up on the Lord while he's near. He's still near right now. He's still drawing because I felt him this morning. I feel yeah. him now. Yeah. Yes. He's still near. Yeah, he is. You, you say, well, I don't feel it. <laughs> you can. I don't hug your wife neither or your husband neither. Why? Because I don't know him. But you get to know the Lord, and you can feel it. Yes. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord. And this is what he'll do when you call on him. And he will have mercy upon him, and to our God will he abundantly pardon. He said, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. God will make a way. He made a way for me. Amen. He made a way for me. Yes. He made a way for me. Hear me today. What can you do? That's all we can do. It's up to you. I don't want to go to hell. Well, don't. Call on Jesus. Repent. Every one of us as human beings, we were created in God's likeness. And with his will of of making decisions, we can. And we can choose, especially when the Spirit's drawing, encouraging, we can say, Lord, help me. And if you really mean it, if you really mean it, and anything you say to God, if you're not willing to follow it through with actions, think about it and call up on him and say, Lord, I'm willing. Amen. He'll start showing you things. Yeah. Yeah. He will. He'll move in your life. He'll help you. That's what we can do. What can we do now? And Christians, what can we do with all this that's going on? We can trust in the Lord. I want you to hear this. Well, let me read this right here. It's in Proverbs 2nd chapter. It said, My son, if thou wilt receive my words. Folks, if you'll receive the Bible, Mm -hmm. read it and receive it. When you watch the news on TV and see all these things, you receive that, don't you? Because you'll go telling people about what you've seen. And a lot of times you receive it. If you receive his word, and then what he said, and hide my commandments with thee. Hide them in your heart. Hide them. But you've got to be willing to. I don't believe there's anything that God has did for us. Now, I'm trying this. That will benefit us unless we obey what he's saying. If you don't, do it. It says repent. How many times have you maybe hurt somebody's feelings and you felt bad about it and you went back and done something about it? How many times? God will receive that. And he'll say it's okay. It's okay. I'll keep you anyhow if you'll come to me. We've got to do it. 
This Bible is not something we can read and makes us that way. We must receive it and we must act upon it in order to receive it. No matter how much knowledge you and I receive in our life about anything, like when I first started loving my wife, and I know I loved her, and I wanted to marry her. Do you know I couldn't just feel that way? I had to act upon it. And guess what happened? 50 years and a couple of months ago, she and I got married, raised three kids. But see, me loving her didn't make everything right. But when I asked her, I acted upon it, and she acted upon the way she felt for me. Here we was, and here we are. But believe this, the Bible is the truth. It'll set you free. God will make a way, but you've got to act upon it. The Bible says faith without works is dead. Faith without doing something about it. I don't think he could make it no easier. He's not asking for an arm and a leg, just for your heart and for your effort. That's what we can do about it. Then we're going to the third chapter again of Proverbs. You can do this. Yeah, everybody can read the Bible. Everybody can talk to God. He hear you? Yeah. My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments in your heart. Now, folks, you're going to act however you feel. When you feel mad, that's what you're going to do. Now, God can make a way that you can get over that and put that to a a minor thing in your life. But if you're happy, you're going to smile. If you're mad, you're going to do something like that. If you believe in Jesus and want him, you're going to do something. Yep. But if you don't, you won't. And it's going to be too late. All the people in this world are talking about what's going on now and, and denying the Word of God and dis- trying to disgrace the Word of God and say, that ain't right, that ain't right. They, they're leaving one thing out. If you're 60 years old, you ain't always been 60. And you ain't always going to be 60 years old. One day you're going to come to a limit. What you going to do then? Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. That's what you can do now is call on him. Listen to this, Christian and non-Christian. Let me go ahead and read all that right there. My son, forget not my law, but let thine commandments keep my commandment. Let thine heart keep my commandment. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them upon thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God. God sees that. He accepts that. He knows that we can't save ourselves. And he knows if he don't touch us, it won't happen. He knows that. But he will not. He might in life, some words along the line, force certain people to do certain things, but he will not force you to accept his salvation. He will not. He will not. But he can sure show you enough to make you want to, to give you that desire. Yes, he can. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not unto thine own understanding. Christian, I don't try to understand everything that happens to me. Not everything. I understand one thing. I called on Jesus. He's been with me all these years. And when I'm laying there and maybe I'm not feeling so good and I've had that lately, I still know. He's there. He lets me know he's there. First of all, I got a knowledge. I know. I know. Those of you that don't believe, you know you don't believe. But those that do believe, you know you believe. Yeah. Yeah. All thine heart lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Man, if you want God to show you what to do and lead you, acknowledge him. Say, hey, Lord, 
I need some help. Amen. And you'll hear him and say, here I am. What you need. He's, he wants to be related, a relationship. He does. A lot of people don't see him as that. He wants to talk to you. He does. And he will. And he is millions and millions of people in the past, and he is right now and in the future. But the thing about it, we still keep wanting to preach to you that if you're not there, you can be. God make a way. Be not wise in thine own heart, own eyes. Let fear the Lord and depart from evil. Woo! I'm going to tell you what. Now, when it comes to the choice of letting somebody, uh, somebody do something to me and I say, that ain't happening, or just say, hey, Lord, help me. You watch and see what he can do. He'll make a way. He'll make a way. He'll make a way. He'll make a way. I want to keep saying it. He'll make a way. Let, let me just put it like this right here. What are you going to do when you, when you pass and you've done missed the opportunity? Have you ever done anything, maybe swapped a car or even in marriage and stuff like that? You walked out on somebody and as you look back, things didn't go the way you thought and you say, oh man, I sure do hate I done that. Or bought something and said, mm, I wish I hadn't bought this. Made a decision that you wished you hadn't made. Believe me, when you come to the end of your life, if you ain't chose Jesus, you're going to be sitting right there in that right there. God will make a way if anybody out there wants to get saved. Father, in the name of Jesus right now. Lord. Lord, your word says that if we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth that Jesus was born of a virgin, lived a sinless life, yes. given atoning death, and is in resurrection life for us right now, and you draw us to come to him, Lord. Yes. Folks, if you Thank do that, yeah. you can find eternal life right there. And you say, well, I thought we are going to live forever in hell. Yeah, but eternal life's in hell and eternal death's in hell. Right. And folks, I can only do so much, and I know that. All I can do is come and get on the air and talk to you. For 39 years, I preached on AM radio. I've seen some people listen and hear and come to him. In the years I've pastored, I've seen some people come to him. But I've seen people turn away, too. Christian, what we're going to do, we're going to say, Lord, I stand before you. I plead the blood of Jesus, Lord. Plead the blood of Jesus. Christian, what are you also going to do when sickness comes for us? And I'm partaking of that right now, hindering my operation as, a, as you know, I've got some problems. I'm limited. What are we going to do when I had an operation a while back and they said I probably won't walk again? What did I do? I didn't panic. I called on Jesus. He made a way. Folks, what are we going to do when things turn against us? Christian, listen now. Too many is, is doubting, looking back. We, we can't do nothing about a lot of these things that come at us, but what we can do is be faithful to God and trust Him and stand and be faithful to Him and share it with anybody else. We can do that. I can talk and preach. Amen. Yeah. I can't, might not can heal you or solve your problem, all, but I can talk to you Amen. and tell you who can. Yeah. But see, I realize and understand I can do that. And listen... We can do that. And if you'll just call on him, he'll do that. He'll hear you and he'll make a way. I can't get away from that today. If you think there ain't no way, you just you just ain't mashing the wrong button, right button. Right, right. If you say ain't no way this is gonna happen, you just you how do I mean mash button? You call on Jesus. Yeah, yeah. And you say, Lord, what do you want me to do? And start doing it. Obey. I remember the very day he drawed me. 
I heard him. I know something supernatural was happening to me. It wasn't just my old regular me. What did I do? I got to thinking about it. That night I thought, decided I'd, I'd look into the Bible and see what it says. And oh my. Oh, there he was. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Talking to me. He'll do you that way. God loves us all. But folks, what's going on in this world will not continue in heaven. There's going to be a great day. The Bible says these things will come that are coming now. It said that people won't listen. They're called good, evil, and evil, bad. Evil, good. They're called uh, good, evil, and bad, good. It's happening. So therefore, in your life, when you stand before him, he's told us what to do. Be up to me and you. And on in the future, he's told you, it will happen. It's going to happen. I mean, ain't nothing going to stop it. The Bible says, uh, if you continue in my word, Jesus told them, you'll know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Yeah, right. Folks, there's one thing. There is a devil. Yes, he is. And he'll come try to make you down. But he cannot stop you from hearing the truth or from having that relationship with God if you don't let him. He has never stopped anybody from serving God. From serving God. The devil, he, he don't have that power. Right. But do you know what he does? Because with free will, he has the privilege because of what man's give to him. Mm -hmm. Authority. Man give authority to him. What he can do, he has the free will to tempt us. But he has never been able to force people to turn on God. He's been able to deceive so many people, and then they'll turn. Folks, today, what can we do? We can call on the name of the Lord before it's too late. Don't know what condition a lot of people are living in, what country and all this right there. We know there's other nations. Been to one. Well, been to more than one. But God will make a way. This thing is happening just like Jesus said. God will make a way. Just remember, folks, God loves you. It's your choice. It's honestly your choice. We can tell you about him. But that's all we can do. We can't force you. God bless you. The next time I talk, and think about it. It's real. You look around. It's real. And Christian, what are we going to do when maybe bad health comes on us or something tragic comes on us? Tell you what I got planned to do, to trust in the Lord with all my heart yeah. and not try to understand everything. And he'll make a way. God bless you till next time. And please, Please do this. Call on him. You can do it right now. Yeah. Christian, we can't stop all the evil in the world. We can just tell people what to do. Tell them what to do. God bless you till next time. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I had no one to blame. Now I long to hide my face. I was so ashamed. For all the wrongs I've done And I knew I had to pay I was bound to face hell blame I'd be there today My friend, but for the blood But for the blood Shed on Calvary's tree but for the blood, there'd be no hope for you and me. For all my righteousness is filthy rags, and that's all I'd ever be. But for the blood, that cleanses sets me free. Even now I get so low. You know the devil lets me know I'm so undeserving I'm unworthy of God's love 
And oh yes, I know it's true But here I am with the chosen few I stand today Yes, I'm saved just by the blood But for the blood Shed on Calvary's tree But for the blood There'd be no hope for you and me For all my righteousness Filthy rags and that's all I'll ever be But for the blood That cleanses and sets me free But for the blood that cleanses and sets me free. Hey Amen. I just want to say we appreciate you for watching today. I hope something was said uh, maybe help you out in your daily walk with Jesus. Amen. Or help you out with your daily walk in the world. Uh, uh, amen. That might change your mind from being lost to being saved. Amen. Glory to be to God. If you got a prayer request today, you can send a private message to facebook.com forward slash what the world needs is Jesus. You can call or text Brother Ricky Phillips, 256-630-1262, Brother Kenneth Crane at 256-557-2858, or Brother Harold O'Neill at 256-475-5854. You can also email us at what the world needs is Jesus TV at gmail.com. And like I say, we appreciate you today and we thank you for tuning in. Until our next broadcast, may God richly bless you. Amen.